Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the word boundaries. We have already discussed in the previous session about the anchor expression. Now we will try to see about the word boundaries. So how this word boundary can be used in our anchor expressions, the combination of anchor expression. Anchor expression. Let's try to see it. So <coughs> What I want to tell you is rejects this regular expression has an another anchoring type of meta characters. So regular expression has an another type of meta character. So we have already seen about the carrot and the dollar symbol, which represents the first and also the ending of ending position. So now if you want to make sure that our pattern only matches a word or not a part of a word. Then we will be using a word boundary. So something like let's say that we are having a plan. Okay, we need to match this one. So exactly we need to match this plan, or otherwise, let's say that in plan. So here also you will be having a plan. So you need to match it is not a it is a part of a word or not part of a word. So entirely it should be a word, or otherwise, not part of a word. So if you want to mention this word boundaries, we use this anchor expressions. So another type of anchor meta expression. There is also a meta character that specifies the non word boundaries also. So here this one is a non word boundaries and this one is a word boundary. So that means here it is having a word and also here word as a boundary. And here it is not having a any word. So this is called as a non word boundary and also a word boundary. Let's try to see about these things. So first one is an B. So this is small b with a forward slash. This is called as a word boundary. Okay. So that means exactly word it will try to match it. So here it will try to match only the exactly word. So that means the pattern should be bounded by a non word. Okay. Here you don't get confused. So by a non word character. So that means so it should not be bounded by any character. So word boundary means it should be exactly the same word. The pattern should be bounded by a non word character. Depending on which each place which side we place this one either it may be a left side or the right side So depending on that uh, scenario, so it will try to see it. For example, let's say that we are having a plan and if you mention here slash B so that means here plant it will it will match planet it will match and here in plant will not match why because the left side you have used a word boundary that is nothing but it should be exactly word so there should not be any word before this plan so here and afterwards you can have anything if you mention here also okay if you mention here also right side also the b so then it will match only the plan it will not match these are all the things here you can use it so these all will not be matched so this is the word boundary and the opposite of this one so you can use it in either side slash b and the opposite is nothing but slash capital b so this is a non word boundary okay non word boundary so that means pattern should be is bounded by so we will, we will not get a word here so exact word will literally not be have we will be having so pattern is bounded by a word character a okay, word character so now here the same example i will try to show you so if you are having a plan okay i am trying to use capital b here so that means so if you are having a list of words plan plant or i plant anything in plant so here you are having a list of words here so the plan and here if you are mentioning with a capital B means the left side must and should you need to have a word boundary here this one will not match and this one is also will not match why because the left side you not you don't have any word and this one will match why because left side you are having a word boundary and this one also will match why because so the in the left side you are having a word boundary and if you try to mention the same thing in slash B like this now here this one will not match and this one also will not match why because right side you are having a word boundary but in the left side you are not having the word and this one will match and here this one also will match so like this you will be having 
So remember, remember about this word boundary. So when we are talking about this word boundary and the word characters, you need to remember about the slash w. So here the boundary should be in a such a way that the shorthand notation slash w. So if you remind, so slash w means it is nothing but a to z, a to z, 0 to 9, and an underscore. Okay. So these are the different types of characters that it will check for the word boundary. So the uh, these are the range of characters in which it should have a boundary. <coughs> Let's try to see the demo for this one. So now you understood about this slash b and also the cap slash capital b so this is a word boundary so that means exact word you need to match slash capital b means so there is no need to have a exact match part of the word also we can, it can for example let's say i am having a just a simple text okay here i am having in plan plan so we are having multiple plan here okay let's try to see it first what i will try to do i will try to match this plan here we are able to see four matches has been found plan 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 and also a plan here four matches has been found now what i want to do is i want to keep a slash b beside so that the left hand side there should be no word character so here if i try to use this slash b now if you try to see immediately so it has been reduced to three matches so this one is not matching why because in the left hand side we are having a word character so slash b doesn't take the word boundary okay matches a boundary position such as white space punctuation or starting and end of this thing so here these are the matches it will try to do so here not only this one so you can have a star you can have a plus and all those things you can have it if you have an underscore it will not match why because it word character it will try to match the word character so whatever the thing you are having so it will try to match it so only the especially it should not have the word characters that is nothing but slash w the word digit and a white space something like that. so sorry here they are trying to do so that is the thing so if you have a zero also it will not match it so this is about the slash b and left hand side it has matched it now here if you try to see the right side also it is having some word character t and here it is having et now we will not allow this one to have this right side also word characters now what i can do i can use a boundary slash b such that now exact plan only will match so that is thing so for example if you have here star and also here star then also it will match why because the word boundaries the boundaries between the plan is not a word character so those are special characters so special characters it can allow it it will match it but the word characters it will not match if you have a nine or something it will not match immediately so this is a word boundary now the opposite of that one opposite of that one is capital b so for example let's say so let's say i am having plan same thing i will try to remove this one so i will check with a flash b so that means here only this plan is working uh, is matching why because so we are telling that the plan should not on the left side anything it should have a character that means the two word character so here n is having so that is the reason it is matching this plan planet and also plant so in the left side you are not having anything for example let's say that i will try to remove here and i will try to match it slash b here if i try to use it now this one is matching here it is matching here it is matching but this one is not matching why because on the right side we are trying to tell that at least one word boundary should be present so here t t and e t it is matching e, e, here we are having a word character now if you try to mention slash b and slash b on either sides now only this one will match why because on the left side and the right side it is bounded by a word character so this is how we will be using the word boundary here if you try to see slash b here this is the thing they are trying to explain us the word boundary means here slash b means word boundary means exact word it needs to match that means left and right side it should have a non-word characters and slash capital b means it's a non-word boundary that means any word it, uh, sorry word characters it should have a word characters between the uh, boundary as a boundaries left side and right side so that is the main difference between so this is somewhat little bit confusing as the first time you are trying to learn so remember that when you are trying to place slash b and slash b here so it should match the exact thing so whatever the pattern it was uh, representing inside the regular expression it should match the exact thing whatever the thing you are trying to mention it here slash b slash b it should not be an exact so on the either sides it should have a word characters that two a to z 
small a to z and also 0 to 9 with an underscore that's it that's all about this word boundary i want to explain you hope you understood about this word boundaries small b and also a capital b if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you